<laughs> Aloha kako, my name is Mark Noguchi. I am the co-founder of Pili Hawaii as well as the resident chef and curator here in Taste Kaka'ako. I am a 2012 StarChefs.com Rising Star Chef. And today we're gonna get a play around with this bad boy here. This is the Vita Prep 3 by Vitamix. I'll be making a Shinsato Farms crispy pigtails, ulu puree, sauteed greens, and some red chimichurri. So you ready? Let's get some. So one of the things that we face as chefs is uh, that stresses out a lot of our blenders is when we make starches, starch purees. Uh, here in Hawaii, we use taro. We use a lot of indigenous starches, taro, sweet potato, or in this case, ulu or breadfruit. The higher starch content causes it a lot of stress on uh, machines like this. But this Vita Prep 3, we're gonna make a ulu breadfruit puree in about 60 seconds. The cool thing about this dish is that almost all the ingredients come from one area of the island comes on the Kanyo side in Kahalu and Heiia. So, if it grows together, it goes together. The pork is raised by the Shinsato family. Peppers, the wife, she grew them. The breadfruit is in their backyard. It's kind of nifty. Cooking like this, it definitely gives you a sense of place. Making do with what you have. You know, we live on an island, so it's not like we can just, you know, it's not very responsible of us, I think, to just FedEx everything from all over the place. So here's what you got. Make the best of it. To make our chimichurri, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get everything together in this. Uh, using right here is, we got some fresh mild chilies. Got a Hawaiian chili pepper, a little bit of garlic. So we got our chopped capers, minced onions, herbs, peppers, now a little bit more vinegar. Give some acid. Sherry or apple cider works real well. Now we got our red chimichurri set to go. Let's go check on our breadfruit. This variety of breadfruit is called ma'afala. It's a Samoan variety. We've had it simmering for about half an hour in equal parts of milk and heavy cream. We're gonna check it. Make sure it's tender, it's nice and soft. It smells great. So first, we're gonna get our puree. And I'll go ahead and get it in there. So it was simmering on equal parts, milk and cream. One of the really great things about the Vita Prep 3 is that it has a variable speed control so you don't just go from off, from off to a million miles an hour in one second. Everything into the container. Starting on low, and we'll bring it up. As you can see, we have a nice, real smooth puree. Good to go. So now that we got our puree done with the Vita Prep, let's build our dish, finish it up. So we took our Shinsato pigtails, and what I did was we cryo back them, cooked them real slow for three days, took it out, picked out the bones, and then compressed it. So we're gonna get a cast iron pan, ripping hot, crisp up the side and roast it off. So it's already cooked through, we just want a nice crispy skin and heat it all the way. So we roast it through, skin's nice and crispy, just cut it in half. And then once again, try to prep, Gave us this really nice, smooth, silky puree. I didn't even pass it. Straight out of the container. Nice and smooth. Saute the greens. And last but not least, our red chimney. So there you have it. Shinsato Farms Crispy Pigtails. Ulu puree, red chimichurri, and sauteed bitter greens. 